Hey there, electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Electricity Frenzy. I'm your host, and today we're going to tackle a common issue that many homeowners face, how to overcome low voltage in their homes. So, what exactly is low voltage? Well, in simple terms, it means that the electrical power flowing through your home's electrical system is not at its optimal level. This can result in dim lights, slow or inefficient operation of appliances, and other electrical devices not functioning as they should. The good news is that there are practical solutions to help you increase the voltage in your home. Let's dive right in. Solution number one, check for overloaded circuits. One common cause of low voltage is an overloaded circuit. Over time, as we add more electrical devices and appliances to our homes, the demand for electricity increases. If too many devices are drawing power from a single circuit, it can lead to low voltage issues. To address this, start by identifying the circuits that are affected by low voltage. Go to your home's electrical panel and look for any trip circuit breakers. These are usually labeled and can be identified by the switches that are not in the on position. Once you've identified the overloaded circuits, the next step is to redistribute the electrical load. Unplug or turn off some devices that are connected to the affected circuit. Spread the load across multiple circuits to ensure a balanced distribution of electricity. Solution number two, check the main electrical service. Another possible cause of low voltage is a problem with your home's main electrical service. This could be due to loose connections, faulty wiring, or issues with the utility supply. First, locate your home's main electrical service panel. It is usually installed near the electrical meter. Carefully inspect the panel for any signs of loose wires or connections. If you notice any, it's essential to hire a licensed electrician to address the issue. Additionally, contact your utility provider to check if there are any known issues with the power supply in your area. They can provide valuable information about voltage fluctuations or maintenance work that might affect your home's electrical system. Solution number three, upgrade the electrical wiring. If you've tried the previous solutions and are still experiencing low voltage, it may be time to consider upgrading your electrical wiring. Outdated or inadequate wiring can restrict the flow of electricity, leading to low voltage. Hiring a licensed electrician to assess your home's wiring and make necessary upgrades can significantly improve the voltage levels in your home. They may recommend replacing old aluminum wiring with copper wiring, installing dedicated circuits for high-demand appliances, or upgrading the overall capacity of your electrical system to meet modern energy needs. Solution number four, use a voltage stabilizer or regulator. Another effective solution to combat low voltage issues is using a voltage stabilizer or regulator. These devices are designed to regulate and maintain a consistent voltage level in your home, even when there are fluctuations in the main power supply. Wait a second, if you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to hit that like button and show your support. It really helps us bring you more valuable content. Thanks for that. A voltage stabilizer or regulator acts as a buffer between your electrical devices and the fluctuating power supply. It helps to stabilize the voltage and provides a steady flow of electricity to your appliances, ensuring they receive the required voltage to operate optimally. When choosing a voltage stabilizer or regulator, make sure to consider the power rating and capacity that matches the needs of your home. It's recommended to consult with an electrician to determine the appropriate device for your specific requirements. Well, folks, that wraps up our episode on how to increase voltage in your home. Remember, if you're experiencing low voltage issues, Start by checking for overloaded circuits, inspecting the main electrical service, considering an upgrade to your wiring, and using a voltage stabilizer or regulator. As always, safety comes first when dealing with electricity. If you're not confident in your electrical skills, don't hesitate to call a professional electrician. It's better to be safe than sorry. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Electricity Frenzy for more electrifying content. And as always, stay charged up, my friends.